Yo guys, in this video I'm going to be giving you the best ping optimization guide for the new Simpsons season in Fortnite. In the video I'm going to go through everything that you can do to make your ping as low as possible so you can be taking everybody's wall in the new Fortnite season. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. The first thing we're going to be doing is heading over to our Fortnite settings, heading over to the game option and make sure we're playing on the right region. Make sure you're not playing on auto because when you load into a game on auto it'll automatically connect you to what the game thinks is the best server and not the actual best server so make sure you're playing on europe if that's your region or any of these which is actually your region then you want to scroll down on here and make sure that your energy saving mode is turned off and this one is on never so make sure all of these are on off and then once you've done that you just click apply and those are your fortnite settings optimized to get the best ping in game and once you've done that, you can close off your Fortnite and we're going to be doing some Windows settings to lower our ping even more. So the first Windows setting we're going to be doing is heading over to the search and searching for the control panel. Open this up and right here where it says network and internet, click on here. Click on network and sharing center. And right here where it says Ethernet or Wi-Fi, click here. Click on properties. And right here, all you need is internet protocol version 4. Internet protocol version 6 enabled. You don't need anything else on here. I would just recommend having these two ticked and once you've done that click OK and you can open it back up and then we're going to be heading over to internet protocol version 4 clicking on properties and inside here click use the following DNS server and to find the best DNS server you want to search for the command prompt open this up and then inside here type in ping 1.1.1.1 and it'll give you the average MS for this DNS so for me this is 8 and then you want to do the same thing for 8.8.8.8 .8 and see which gives you a better average so as you can see 1.1 gives me a better average of 8 and 8.8 .8 gives me a better average of 9 so i'm going to be going for 1.1 as this is lower so inside here type in 1.1.1.1 and then on the bottom type in 1.0.0.1 if 8.8 .8 is better for you type in 8.8.8.8 .8 and then on the bottom 8.8.4.4 and then you want to click on advanced Head over to Wins and make sure you disable NetBIOS over TCP slash IP. Validate your settings upon exit and click OK. The next thing we're going to be doing is clicking back on Internet Protocol version 4, clicking on Configure, clicking Yes, and we're going to be changing all of the settings inside here to give us the best ping in game. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head on over to Flow Control and make sure this is on RX and TX enabled. Interrupt moderation is enabled and if you have interrupt moderation rate underneath this make sure you set it to either high or medium I don't have it, but if you do make sure that's what you set it to IPv4 checksum offload make sure this is disabled anything with send offload or checksum offload with IPv4 and 6 make sure it's disabled so anything here IPv4 and 6 make sure all of these are disabled so just go down and disable all of them at the bottom where it says wake on magic packet make sure this is disabled and wake on pattern match is disabled speed and duplex make sure this is set to the highest so either 1 or 2.5 gigabytes depending on your driver and once you've done that head over to power management and untick all of these boxes click ok your wi-fi might cut out for a minute if it does it'll come back on and we can move on to the next setting but before I do go any further with this video, I just want to let you guys know this video is sponsored by Risen Tweaks. Risen Tweaks is a tweaking optimization service where you can get all of these different tweaks on screen for very cheap prices. And if you use my code when checking out, you get 15% off your order. So the tweaks are even cheaper. So make sure you go and check that out. I'll leave the link in the description. And by using these extreme tweaks right here for $30, I actually gained a 30% performance boost by just using these tweaks, so I would definitely go and recommend checking those out in the description. But back to the video, the next thing we're going to be doing is clicking Control Shift Escape and heading over to Startup Apps and making sure everything on here that you don't want opening up when your PC boots on is disabled. So for me, I only have Discord open when my PC turns on and my mouse software. Everything else is disabled. And this is because, say Steam, for example, opens when your PC turns on and you have automatic updates on Steam. Then you go into your game and you're playing and a game is downloading in the background. This can really increase your ping and make you lag in game. So make sure everything is disabled because something might be open and you might not notice it and it could be affecting your ping. And the last thing we can do to decrease our ping in game is search for the services. Open this up. Inside here, click anywhere, type N on your keyboard. Net logon, make sure you double click this and disable it. Click apply. 
and make sure it's stopped. So if it's running, make sure you click the stop button. And then just underneath this, you'll see net.tcp port sharing service. Make sure this is disabled and stopped as well. Once you've done that, you can load your game back up and your ping will be much lower than before. That is going to be it for this video, guys. I do hope it did help you out. And if it did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And make sure you go and check out Risen Tweaks. I'll leave that link in the description. But thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.